watching Bjorn Nieland's review of the ID4 made me really like the ID4 with uh, range specs and so on. And I happened to find one to test drive in a shopping mall here in China. And um, I did this alone. And uh, to convince my wife as well, I went a second time uh, for a test drive to the uh, service center. And they happened one that only had 10% of charge. So uh, I tested charging this vehicle. We had to go to three charging parts to find one that had a faster charger. Usually they only charge 20 kilowatts. And um, the fast charger for 70 kilowatts here uh, is a shared one. At the moment uh, when we plugged in, it was sharing power with uh, a Chinese brand that only uh, pulls 20 kilowatts. And so our output is uh, 51 kilowatt, the maximum um, for the charger. When the other vehicle plugged off, we got the maximum amount that the charger is capable to output 70 kilowatts and um, we started to get uh, the maximum which meant in 20 minutes we received 121 of kilometers of new range. Um, I was pretty much disappointed because I thought they already had um, high power chargers. There was one um, that actually was occupied there are so many taxis charging that it's hard to get a free plug but there's one thing that made me realize um, we we are talking about different things when I ask the taxi drivers how fast they would charge I would uh, would ask if they would charge uh, with 150 kilowatts 200 kilowatts or whatever and they told me they would charge with 300 Apparently, what they mean is ampere. They don't uh, talk about kilowatts, which is the most important number on the screen. They talk about amperes. That means many of these Chinese cars, actually, I thought they would uh, be fast charging, really only take in at 20 kilowatts. At the charger, I was talking to uh, a driver that is driving like in uh, Uber vehicle, it's called a DD, and he was telling me that at the same time I w was getting uh, 70 kilowatts, he was getting 20 kilowatts, and had to charge two hours. And uh, if he runs uh, two shifts, that would mean four hours per day for charging. And uh, I was talking to him if it's not better to change to a vehicle that uh, charges faster because they always tell me taxi drivers uber drivers and that they lose 200 to 400 renminbi per day and they ask him wouldn't it be better if you take uh, the id4 the car that uh, you only need to charge for 30 to 40 minutes to get the same rate range instead of four hours and uh, i'm not sure if he calculated it's right but if he has this difference in income per day, uh, then he should be easily to get back the amount for the car within a short time. If we do the uh, German math and look at the calculation, then uh, if he can make in one shift two to 250 maybe more, that would mean after two to two, three years, his car is financed, and after five years, he should have a surplus of 33,000 30, euros. Um, if he has two shifts and two shifts earn more 500 RMB, then it's even much earlier that he would uh, have his turnaround here. The night shift usually earns less than the day shift, and uh, typically range for a taxi per shift is 240 to 250 kilometers per day and uh, anyway 
if two shifts could earn 500 RMB more per day, just to switch in a faster charging method, um, the return of investment would be one year. The whole car has been refinanced, and after five years, it's nearly 90,000 euros in return. Um, that is how significant the uh, charging speed is. But um, as the taxis uh, charge slow, the degradation obviously is also uh, not that bad. If you have a fast charging, the degradation might be worse. For the test drive I made it the uh, first day, uh, I drove 17 kilometers and uh, used 5% of the capacity. That would equal 340 kilometers of range city driving. I'm not really sure if this is enough. Uh, if I look at uh, Bjorn's results in uh, Norway, and uh, he achieved 449 kilometers with 90 kilometers, so the city drive should be more, but uh, not with the heavy running air conditioning. A look at the uh, cold dry temperatures for the ID4 at um, 90 kilometers 449. I would have thought that uh, I could be near the 500 kilometers range. But on the other hand, um, there's a Chinese user that uh, used this car during the uh, May holidays. Uh, even so, he was mostly stuck on the highway in a traffic jam. He could um, reach uh, with uh, 59% 276 kilometers, which would equal 467 kilometers with one charge. Which would mean this ID4 is definitely a, a long range car that uh, should run well on the highway, but um, city driving with lack of cooling wind apparently um, is not good for the range.